In 2008, a group of scientists working in the Swabian Alb region of southwestern Germany discovered a very unusual music instrument. The instrument itself wasn't unusual in appearance, it was a simple flute made from the bone of a bird. What did make it unusual was its age. After carbon dating the flute, scientists found that it was approximately 35,000 years old, making it one of the oldest music instruments ever discovered. So how did scientists find this flute? Well, the Swabian Elbe region of southwestern Germany is home to a number of important archaeological sites, namely caves that early humans used when they settled in the region, and the caves have been a great source for artifacts of early humans since the caves protected and somewhat preserved the artifacts from erosion and the elements. The caves are situated around the Ach River that feeds into the Danube River Valley. Scientists have been excavating these caves since the late 1800s and have yielded other archaeological finds like Stone Age tools, small sculptures, and cave paintings. The Hollowfells Cave, where the flute was found, has a small entrance about 20 feet across that leads into a long corridor before opening up into a large central chamber that is about 80 feet in diameter. In this cross-section of the cave floor, we can see that as the scientists work through the different layers, they were uncovering older and older artifacts. The flute was found in this region, associated with the Aurignacian era, which roughly lasted 33,000 to 37,000 years ago. The flute itself is 21.8 centimeters long, 0.8 centimeters in diameter, and has five finger holes along its length. There's also a V-notch cut into the top to make a crude mouthpiece to help direct the air so that the instrument will produce a sound. Like I said before, the flute is made from the bone of a bird, specifically the radius of a griffin vulture. The radius is one of the forearm bones and like many avian bone structures, is mostly hollow, which is perfect for making a flute. Since the bone was already hollow, the instrument maker didn't have to spend time hollowing out a bone. The finger holes and mouthpiece were made by working the bone with stone tools and techniques that would have been available at the time. After the flute was found, there have been efforts to recreate the instrument. One such recreation found that the flute could play a pentatonic scale, a five-note pattern that some music still uses today, and sounds like this. Needless to say, this was a fairly sophisticated instrument for its time. Like one article put it, The instruments from Holofels are too evolved in terms of design and manufacture to represent the first flutes. The makers and players of the Aurignacian flutes were thus not novices, but had considerable musical knowledge and experience that may have resulted from some form of transgenerational communication. Moreover, the earliest musical instruments, such as drums and rattles, were probably made of perishable materials, perhaps wood and hide, that are not routinely preserved in the archaeological record. So this makes the Holofels flute one of the oldest music instruments discovered so far. But can we say that it made the world's oldest music? Considering that modern birds began to emerge over 50 million years ago, and the two main types of whales began to split around 34 million years ago, there were already animals that produced their own songs long before early humans emerged from Africa around 315,000 years ago. The oldest human-made music on Earth was probably someone trying to imitate a songbird they heard in the forest. So the next time you get a song stuck in your head, just remember that humans have likely been dealing with that same problem for hundreds of thousands of years. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the history of music, check out these videos. If you'd like to support this channel, please check out the Patreon link to learn more.